All right, if you guys are as much of a fan as Red Cat Racing as I am, you know that uh, you're going to break some axles on it. <clears throat> so I got my Red Cat Volcano AXP Pro. And you can clearly see I'm missing the driver's side front axle shaft out of it. I had a concrete wall the other day at about 30 and broke the axle out of it. So I'm going to put a new axle in it. <clears throat> All you need, 7 millimeter socket and a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, I do have the aluminum control arms on mine. I've also got the rear aluminum control arms for this, but I have not put them in yet. <clears throat> I still have them in a little plastic organizer here. I just haven't put them in yet. So I got some new axles. I think actually I got a couple packs of them. Uh, yeah, I got another pack in there. So I'm gonna put one in real fast. I'm gonna just show you guys how to do it. I'm gonna pause this real quick and get one out. So got my front axle shaft and I'm gonna remove the wheel. All you need is your seven millimeter socket to remove the front tire. We'll get this off, and I'll show you guys how to put one in. It's super easy to do. So I have my nut off of my front tire here. I'm just going to push on the center shaft. I'm going to pop this tire off here. And what we're going to do is we're going to come to our front lateral link here, and we're going to take this Phillips head screw out of it. We're going to pull this out. All right, once you have your upper lateral link disconnected, that gives you the ability to just kind of move your front hub here to where you need it. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your front axle shaft assembly. You're going to maneuver it in here like such. I hide mine up back behind the shock here. And then you're going to want to make sure there's grooves let me see if I can get this on video. <clears throat> there are grooves in your front hub assembly here to where the nipples of your axle shaft, they slide into. So I'm going to slide this into my front hub assembly. And then that shaft will push all the way down in there as such. And you can see that groove on the top there. It just lines up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull down on this and get this into my front differential to where the actual shaft will lock into it. And you just got to go into the front diff there. It also has grooves in it, same way that the hub assembly does. <clears throat> and this should maneuver in pretty easily. So I've got it locked in to the front diff there. So once that is on, now you just take your front lateral link and you bolt it back in. I have mine on the, the upper control arms here. Seems to ride a little bit better with the upper lateral links being bolted into the upper control arms on the top bolt. So I've got my upper lateral link screwed back in and all I got to do now is put my tire back on. And if you haven't done this yet, you have a hex nut on your hub here, on your eccentric. And on the back of your wheel here, you can see that it has a, uh, was that a hexagon shape? And that will lock onto your, your hub here which is also just a regular nut shape. And you get that put on, bolt your wheel back on, and you'll be good to go. And that's how you replace a drive shaft. So correction of that. I said drive shaft, that is a axle shaft. That's how you replace one of those. And then just bolt your wheel back on and you will be good to go.